Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel of Missed Football Balloons and today I'm doing Game Week 26 predictions of the Premier League and I'm going to be starting off on the 21st of February, it's at Anfield, it's Liverpool versus Luton Town and well Liverpool obviously are in the Caribou Cup final so this is played three days before the rest of the Game Week 26 but Liverpool are at home here, they're facing Luton Town which are given an absolute fight, always gives a great effort to every single game, 100% effort they lost it in the last game against Manchester United, but they played fantastic in that game. In my opinion, they probably deserved a draw. So Luton Town obviously aren't picking up the results that Liverpool are, but they're definitely playing well. Liverpool probably wanting to rest up a few players, especially after loads of players getting injuries. Could there be a slip up? Could Luton Town get a point? Mm. No, no, I'm not going to go. I'm going to go for the safe option. I'm going to go for the favourites at home and I'm going to go Liverpool. And I'm going to say it's going to be a 3-1 result towards Liverpool. And when the next game would have been Chelsea versus Tottenham Hotspur, but it is postponed because Chelsea is competing in the Carabao Cup final versus Liverpool. So let's move on. It's a whole new day. It's on the 24th of February. It's at Selhurst Park. It's Crystal Palace versus Burnley. You could say this is a relegation battle. Both sides have been battered by Arsenal. 5-0. Both sides not in the greatest of form. Although Burnley, I feel like they're going to create more chances than Crystal Palace in this game. Because they create a lot. But they're terrible at defending set pieces. They've got a terrible defensive record. But overall, I think Crystal Palace will not lose this game. Purely because if they're going to get points to try and survive, it's going to be against these lower clubs. And vice versa. If Burnley are going to get points, they're going to have to get points against a club like Crystal Palace. Overall, I honestly cannot split the sides coming into this game. Both sides aren't doing fantastic. So I'm going to have to go down the middle and I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw come the final whistle. Moving on to the next game is at Villa Park. It's Aston Villa versus Nottingham Forest. And well, this one might be actually a close game because Nottingham Forest got a very comfortable 2-0 win against West Ham United. A must-needed win for Nunes. You know, he definitely needs it as the Nottingham Forest manager. Hasn't got a win for a while. That wins off their chest and they're looking pretty decent. Nottingham Forest aren't known for a great away record. So considering Villa's home record usually is fantastic till Newcastle came. Yeah, I think Aston Villa's got, got this one in the bag, but it won't be easy. So I'm going to go for a tight scoreline and a common scoreline of Aston Villa 2, Nottingham Forest 1. Moving on to the next game is at Old Trafford. It's Manchester United versus Fulham. Well, Manchester United, the last five games in the Premier League, they're undefeated. They're undefeated in the last six games in all competitions as well. And Rasmus Hoyland is scoring, scoring, scoring. Ever since he got that first goal, he hadn't had a game where he hasn't scored in the Premier League, which is absolutely bonkers. He's got two in his last game when Manchester United managed to win it 2-1 against Luton Town. Wouldn't have said it was a very convincing win. I felt like it probably deserved to be a bit more of a draw, like I said earlier on in the video. But Manchester United, like I said in the last couple of weeks, they're starting to show that fight, that determination, which they weren't showing before. It's really good to see. Luke Shaw is now injured. That might be a bit of a setback for Manchester United. But home here against Fulham and mid-table, Manchester United should definitely get it over the line as they have been playing very well. But I will give Fulham a goal because Munez in the last three games has scored four goals. So Fulham are definitely going to get a goal. I think he's going to keep up that record and he's going to score again in this game. But overall, like I said, Manchester United will win this. Manchester United are going to win this three goals to one come the final whistle. Moving on to the next game at the Amex Stadium. It's Brighton and Hove Albion versus Everton. And well, Brighton battered Sheffield United five goals to nil. But the thing is with Brighton, they have drew a lot this season. And Everton in the last five games have drew four. So this game looks like it's going to be a draw, especially Everton, in my opinion, have played very well this season. And they're very unlucky to be in the mixer. They're currently sitting in 17th. Onana managed to get them outside the relegation zone from a late equaliser against Crystal Palace. That's good for Everton. They really did need the three points, though. But Everton, I feel like, will stay up this season, depending on whether they get that extra 10 points deduction. I don't really know much noise, uh, news on that. But they're facing a Brighton side which can batter teams that play very good football. One of the best teams in terms of how they play. They play fantastic football. I really do rate Brighton. But sometimes you could see them winning 5-0 like just happening at Sheffield United. Sometimes they could lose 4-0 like against Luton. It was the same last season. They weren't properly consistent. And I feel like because of that, because they draw a lot, 
I'm going to go down the middle, and I'm going to say this is going to be a draw. Both sides getting a lot of draws. Brighton isn't always thrashing teams. They're a bit inconsistent this season, so I am going to go down for a draw. It's going to be a lot of chances in this game as Everton creates loads, Brighton creates loads. But I'm going to go 1-1 come the final whistle. Moving on to the next game, it's at the Vitality Stadium's AFC Bournemouth versus Manchester City. And the last 5-6 games, Bournemouth are yet to get a win. Although, now and again, they have shown some good signs. And they were really up for it against Newcastle United. They played very well against Newcastle United, getting a 2-0 draw. Very good. There has been some times of the last 5-6 games where maybe a loss could have been a win. A loss could have been a draw, a draw could be the win. You get what I'm going on about. They have been a bit unlucky, but still, they haven't been picking up the wins. And that's the main thing at the end of the day. And they're at home, so I feel like it could be a closer result than normal. Especially, especially after Manchester City only got a 1-1 draw against Chelsea. And well, I did actually predict that kind of correct. I said it would be a draw, but not a 1-1 draw. But still, I predicted that one correct. And, well, coming in at the end of this game, I think it will be a Manchester City win. They're obviously doing very well. Tied to rate is spiced up by Man City drawing. I'm only going to go just about, like I said, Bournemouth are at home. And Bournemouth did look good against Newcastle. So I'm only going to go for a 2-1 win towards Manchester City. Moving on to the next game is at 8 o'clock on the Saturday. It is at the Emirates Stadium. It's Arsenal versus Newcastle United. And will Arsenal are absolutely battering teams in recent time. 5-0 win against Burnley in the last game. They won against first place Liverpool 3-1. And they battered Crystal Palace 5-0. They're currently in the title race. And they're facing Newcastle United. And Newcastle, they are starting to pick up a bit of momentum. But they're not playing as well as Arsenal are. Newcastle United does have a, a really leaky defence in recent time. Their defence was the best last season. Joint best with Manchester City. Now it's one of the worst in the last one or two months. But Newcastle are still scoring a lot of goals. So I'm going to count these two teams are going to score goals. Both of them are going to score goals. There's going to be loads of chances. But my final, I, I really want to go for a draw. As a Newcastle United fan, I really want to go for a draw in this game. I really want to be optimistic. But I have to come back to reality. Newcastle United aren't fully there. I know we are doing a bit better. But we're not properly, properly there on the level of Arsenal. Especially Arsenal being home. I'm going to just about go to Arsenal, and I'm going to go 2-1 towards Arsenal come the final whistle, unfortunately. Moving on to the next game, it's a whole new day, it's the 25th of February, it is at the Molyneux Stadium, it is Wolverhampton Wanderers versus Sheffield United, and well, there's only going to be one winner here, realistically it's going to be Wolves, they've been playing sensational, they got a 2-1 win against Tottenham Hotspur away from home, they had a bit of a blip up against Brentford, but overall, they are playing outstanding, much better than Sheffield United. You know what, Chris Wilder, he's he's not trying to go for the simple point, go for like a defensive, defensive point and always try and go for a draw. They need to push for more than a draw. They're not trying to go for a safe option, they're trying to go and really push it. But doing so leaves a massive gap open at the back. And that's why Sheffield United are losing so many games at very high scoring. They've conceded 65 goals. In the last 25 games, which I think is like the most any team's ever done within 25 games. So obviously Wolves, I'm going to go Wolverhampton Wanderers 4, Sheffield United 1. Moving on to the next game, it's a whole new day, it's the 26th of February. It is at the mighty London Stadium on Monday night. It's West Ham United versus Brentford. And West Ham United want David Moyes to be sacked. All the fans want him to be sacked. Although David Moyes, after the 2-0 defeat against Nottingham Forest, which they played terrible in, David Moyes did state a good point. They're currently in a strong league position and they're doing better this time, this season, than they were last season. So that is a good point by David Moyes, but still they're not playing well. And looking at the score, it looks a fantastic squad. Calvin Phillips hasn't really been the same since he left Leeds United, really, Calvin Phillips. And he got a sending off when they drew 1-1 against Bournemouth. He was at fault on his debut. It's not going fantastic for Calvin Phillips. Hopefully he can find his feet again like he was at Leeds United. But Brantford, they're doing okay. You know, yes, they lost 4-1 against Liverpool. But Ivan Tony and Neil Malpe looks like a fantastic striker partnership. So I don't see Brentford losing this, especially on how bad West Ham United are performing. But I have to give it, West Ham squad does look good. And I trust in David Moyes to get him out of this situation. So all that said, I am going to go down the middle for a draw. And I'm going to end this as a 2-0 draw 
come the final whistle. And who is my goal of game week 25? Well, it was Jordan Ayew's goal against Everton when they drew it 1-1. One absolute screamer from distance pelted it near that top left corner. Absolutely fantastic goal by Jordan Ayew. So here's my goal of game week 25. But how did I do in game week 25? Well, I got a total of seven points out of a possible 20 points out of game week 25 and overall that puts me on 149 points overall in, in, out of the entire season so far hopefully you did enjoy this video and if you like football then you most probably like fc24 so why not check out my creator club career mode series it's got 10 episodes on there go check it out if you like for fc24 go and just click it it'll be enjoyable clickety click two pitbull chums